Greetings everyone, this is Ryan. This video is going to talk about installing Speedify onto a Slate AX1800 router. Right now, Speedify is running a Black Friday deal. This is late November of 2024 for their yearly router plans. When you put uh, Speedify on a Slate AX1800 router or any open WRT router, it changes into a uh, different plan tier. Usually for three terabytes a month, it's $450 or for a terabyte a month yearly is $300. So they got a sale going on for both. And if you want to get this in for your bonding, uh, your connection bonding, uh, we'll, we'll show you how to get Slate put on here. It's not a bad deal, um, but still, if you do it individually, uh, individually is much, much cheaper. A three-year plan right now for their Black Friday deal is usually $179, $180 for three years. Right now, it's $107 uh, or $108 for three years. Uh, on their individual plan uh, and the way you can do this while still using a router to can use as your connection uh, you can install Speedify onto a Raspberry Pi I haven't made a, a video but hopefully here before too long I will um, and we'll link it to when I do I'll link it to this video up at the top um, but right now we're going to focus on the router install. A couple things that you're going to need to do is one, I'm going to assume that you've already uh, know how to connect this router to the internet and know how to um, log into it uh, and have it all set up and Wi-Fi and all that. So we're going to go straight into the admin panel right here. So you've logged in, we're connected up, and uh, this computer that you are currently working on is logged into the network, which is what mine is. Uh, it's logged in. So the next thing that we need to make sure we have is a SSH client. I use PuTTY. Um, it's fairly simple. Um, and you don't have to worry about not understanding how it works or anything like that. It's just getting us into the backside of the software on the router. It's a shell. So I've already installed it. I, I got it from the Microsoft store just to make sure it was legit. Um, they do, uh, do their updates through the store. Um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, finding something that's, um, not the, you know, something dangerous. So I've installed it in my computer already. And this is the program. And don't worry about, you don't have to change anything that's here. You just have to make sure that you're an SH, SSH connection and you know what your router's IP address is. I know what mine is. It hasn't changed from the default. It's 192.168. Dot one, uh, I'm sorry, dot eight dot one. That's usually what the Slate AX uh, IP address is. So I'm going to open it up and there is the login for the software. So I'm going to type in root and then it's going to ask me for my password. Your password is going to be what your admin password was to log into the router from 192.168.1 that we did on a uh, browser. So my password, I'll type in. And we are now logged in. So I went to Speedify on their YouTube channel and searched how to uh, upload this onto the router tried several different ways through the router to do it but this seemed to be the best way to do it so we're going to type this command into 
the um, shell, it's let me make sure that we are connected. Or let's type in into it. The box is open. It's WGET space dash lowercase q capital O dash space HTTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash get dot speedify dot com and then this is a, a straight up and down slash which is located above the uh, enter key um, where the backwards um, slash is and you'll just hold shift and press that space sh and now it is loading this does everything that you need to do it's going to go through and figure out which package needs to load on to the um, slate ax it's going to update uh, or load the current one uh, speed of file which is 15.1 and it is finished and it is restarting so here in a second you're going to see it disconnect it is complete all right so now i'm going to close this out and then i'm going to check my connection uh, right now it has disconnected so what I want to do is make go back to here ah it's reconnecting here we go um, we definitely want to log out so we'll go ahead and log out and then reconnect and we've disconnected back to my main it's rebooting I believe is what it's doing so we're, we'll reconnect here shortly all right it is reconnected my computer's reconnected and now speedify has been installed on the slate AX Make sure that you, you definitely have to make sure that the router reboots. It does it on its own, should do it on its own, but if not, re, reboot it. So I've already uh, connected to my Speedify account to this uh, slate. I didn't want to show you how I logged in, but it's it looks exactly the same as any of uh, their software on any other platform that you can do this on. It's the exact same thing. So you sign in. And now you are connected with Speedify. Now that you're connected to Speedify, if you wanted to disconnect it, you can just turn the switch off here, uh, and that disconnects it. Also, uh, you know, if you want to disconnect, try again later, you can. But we'll we'll tell it not to reconnect. Um, if you do not want it to start up. Once you power up your device, you'll go into your menu here with the three little hamburger looking thing and you'll turn off connect at startup. And it's simple as that. I hope this video was informative to you and you can work on this. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know that you're getting great info from me and ask any questions that you may have in the comment section.